Every once in a while you get a rare machine in your shop and today is one of those days. This is a Singer Model 66. It's a Centennial edition which that makes it rare by itself but if you notice it's not glossy. This finish is a dull finish and when you look real close you'll see that it's like a crinkle finish. Some people call it a dragon finish. Um, this was done for a short period of time and it was done on a small number of machines. So that makes this Model 66 right here fairly rare. Um, as far as collectability they're still not worth a whole lot of money. They're probably more than a normal Model 66. But it's not like you're going to be selling this for a few thousand dollars. It's, it's not that rare. But it is a rare machine to see. Uh, some of the other rare features that you'll see on this machine. Your stitch length selector is painted. This one's painted white. <clears throat> and... A lot of that paint has come off uh, because I don't do restorations. I just do uh, mechanical um, refurbs to make sure this machine's working again. So I clean it up, refurbish, and make sure it's actually operating. I don't do a restoration, so I'm not going to paint anything. I'm not going to plate anything. Um, I'm just going to clean it up. Another interesting feature here is up here you'll notice that your um, presser foot pressure adjustment right here is not silver colored it's not chrome or nickel plated like these other pieces it's blued so just like the metal bluing that they use on um, other sort of things that you might see like the finish on a, a weapon of some type uh, this bluing is another way to protect the metal from rusting and uh, it's but it's just not shiny like these other pieces are on these machines that have this crinkle finish they also have the um, the black finish um, on some of the hardware so that's one piece and then from what I've read and I'll share with you the website that I found in the comments in the uh, description below but it's kind of random which pieces are actually blued on here um, or have the black finish as some people call it so this one has this. Some of them have the knob for adjusting tension. This one is not. Uh, some of them even have the, the plates. But uh, this one has the polish nickel plated. Uh, this does have over here on, on your bobbin winder. The bobbin winder is blued as well as some of the screws over here. Uh, you will notice that when you have the crinkle finish on the machine, it's not continued onto your... Um, hand wheel or the hand wheel cover plate and the bobbin winder. So those are shiny metal, um, shiny finish, just like your normal Singer machines of the era. Some of the other things we can look at on this side. See, we do have the shiny plate on the back as well. This machine was actually well taken care of. Um, I would say it's not, it was not used a whole lot um, because there's not a lot of wear on the plate unless that's just because this finish held up pretty well. But I haven't done anything to this machine yet so it's still kind of dirty down here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and the motor, it's an external motor like, just like the Model 66's. In this case we have a problem up here. We have exposed wiring on the light which is one of the things the customer wanted me to fix. And then you can see this screw back here is blued, uh, the one holding the motor on. So just a few things to notice. And then also the end of the bobbin winder here, this is blued. Fairly rare machine, pretty nice machine. I doubt that I'll ever see another one of these in the shop again. Uh, but I like seeing new things and this is one of those things that I had never seen before so we're gonna figure out how to clean this thing up 
and get it working again. We have some electrical repair to do on this one. It turns pretty nicely, so I doubt that there's much to do other than just clean it up as far as the mechanics are concerned. Look in here, um, I do see that we have the We do have the felt still in there, so that's a good thing, and it looks pretty good. So I, I really think that this, this machine just sat for a while. It didn't get used a whole lot. You still even have markings on the needle plate, which actually might be Sharpie. That may be just from somebody who was using it. So this is a family heirloom for a family, and so we're just going to make it look nice for them. And um, like I said, Centennial, so this is a 1951 machine, 100 years of making singers. <laughs>